Welcome to part two guys of my play through the custom zombies map Tropical Island and uh, you may recall uh, that we were basically um, starting the round here at round 10. I've got the Browning as my backup weapon and still still hanging on to the Thompson as well. And uh, as you saw in the uh, first uh, episode this map has got some pretty crazy drops that you can pick up, some pretty crazy power ups. So there's a wonder off drop, sort of like a death machine, but it's a wonder off that you get for limited time. And there's also a gun game style um, power up as well, where you cycle through different weapons, uh, some which are pack punched, and then you revert to basically an MP40 and a cult. But uh, we're just going to hang around here near the uh, teleport until we get overwhelmed. We might actually use it now. And we'll be back here at pack a punch. I don't have enough points to pack a punch, so I'm just going to use the trap here until I get uh, teleported to the mainframe. It's a pretty cool looking trap. I like the uh, rainbow colored look that it's got. Alright, we're back at the, the uh, mainframe here. There's that strange device in the water there, whose function shall remain a mystery. And uh, I don't know if this is supposed to be like in some Dutch part of Japan or the Pacific or what it is because there's a hell of a lot of water wells in this map uh, that appear to be doing random things. Alright, I don't know how many zombies are left. They're all going to be running back around. I guess that was it. Two left and that is the end of round 10. Let's play some Bettys here. And we got a dog around. Man's best friend? I don't think so. Alright. Wonder where they're gonna come from. Just wanna watch that they don't come behind as well. Hmm. Looks like they're all spawning out in that catwalk area. So it makes it a bit easier. Like if you play a map like Doris, the dogs just spawn everywhere and it's just crazy hectic, but uh I guess, uh, I guess in this map there's just limited spawn areas for them, which makes it uh, much, much easier. Man, this thing's got a slow reload. There we go. There's probably a couple of dogs left now. This thing seems to be like, uh, it doesn't seem to be uh, making... It doesn't seem to have a sound effect on it. It's like a silenced uh, browning or something. I don't know. It must be a sound glitch in the game. All right. Well, we might start the round here near the power switch. And we've got our fullback, Betty Minefield. I won't. Uh, yeah, I'll plant a couple more. Why not? If you've got them, use them. And uh, wait for the zombies to spawn in here. I guess this is supposed to be a slipway or something, or a dock, I don't know what it's meant to be, this uh, timber area. Now, um, the Thompson is a pretty beast weapon, and it's obviously got a lot of history behind it, like in the gang, in the uh, gangs in the 50s now, they used to use it in Chicago and stuff like that. Um, but it was actually originally um, a really versatile and hardy type of weapon. Like you could run this, you know, you could run this thing through mud and sand and and water, and it would still keep working. So it was very, uh, it was very robust sort of weapon in its day. Sort of like the AK-47, like a weapon that's just really super cheap to make and and uh, so you know easy to use and reasonably reliable that just about everyone everyone in third world uses one. Oh, so <laughs> I just got another drop there. Can you see that it was like a, the shape of a boot or something? I think it's the. Um, Hyperspeed drop, I think it was called in the notes for this map. 
and it speeds you up three times speed so you can like get out of sticky situations but I'm in a dead end here so it's not going to help me much uh, it's worn off anyway but uh, again um, just like with the gun game drop the hyper speed also makes you invulnerable to damage until it wears off so it's interesting let's turn that trap on again and we've got the uh, B115 Accelerator. Gotta love that chrome camo on the browning. That looks uh, awesome, man. It's, uh, it's pretty much identical camo to uh, World at War, but chromed up. A bit of bling happening. It's nice. I know a lot of people wanted that that uh, style of camo, that zombie style, pack punch um, style of camo in, in Black Ops as a custom skin in multiplayer. People still asking for it in the next Black Ops. So. I don't know if they'll do it or not. They sent team to stick to the uh, more traditional camos in uh, multiplayer. But it would be pretty good. I actually like the World at War uh, pack a punch camo better than the Black Ops one. The Black Ops one with the um, what do you call that? Like the welding, not welding, <laughs> it's the soldering uh, circuitry type pattern to it instead of the what looks like ancient, um, ancient um, hieroglyphs or something. I don't know how you describe it, but I think it looks better in the world of war. Pack punch camo, in my opinion. This thing is super devastating. At least we've got uh, we, at least we've got some sound effects happening now with this thing now. It's pack punch. It was like on stealth mode or something um, when it was stock standard. Whoa, Betty's doing their job back there. <laughs> oh yeah, you've got to love a Betty minefield. Oh yeah. And we get the Wonder Wolf. Hopefully we don't lose the Browning with this drop. That would suck. Alright, these guys gotta be the last couple zombies. Try and make a crawler out of this one. Then we'll go pick up another weapon for our secondary. Get rid of the Thompson. Thompson has done its job, but uh, let's try and get something more exotic. So it's a pretty good size, this map. It's not too big. Uh, it's not super small either. And, uh, yeah. It would be cool, though, if you could uh, open up the ship, like in um, Call of the Dead, and go on the ship and stuff like that. But uh, can't have everything. Oh, the bar. Come on. Not a big oh, fan of the bar, but we'll grab this. it anyway because I've got uh, <laughs> got to keep things moving. All right, we get the MP40. Seems like there's a whole MP40 theme going in this map. Maybe the maybe this guy who made the map uh, is into his MP40s. I know it's a very popular zombies weapon with a lot of zombies play. It's not my personal favorite because I far prefer the PPSH, but uh, I even prefer the Thompson. It's all right. I don't know. Don't like the look of it. It's a little bit OP in multiplayer right at war as well, and that's maybe why I shy away from it a little bit. It's kind of that weapon that all the noobs use. Okay, Type 100. Now, this is a good weapon. I like this one, and this is, in fact, the main weapon I use in multiplayer in right at war. The silencer on it. Does the business. Got good mobility. So, we'll use this for a bit, and I might even pack a punch it. Uh, once I get enough points. So let's head back uh, here to the mainframe area. And uh, beast it up here for a bit. Betty down. Betty down. See if we can get them to line up on the side here. It's always good when you can get the zombies to line up. Here we go, browning time. Back 
Nice. Chewing through them with this thing. I don't usually do a lot of camping strategies like I'm doing in these, <laughs> I seem to be doing these custom maps. But uh, in the early rounds, you can get away with it in solo, but I can guarantee if I was doing high rounds like going past round 30 or whatever, um, I would have to start running trains instead. Insta-kill, beautiful. Finishes off the last few zombies nicely, so... <laughs> I've got enough points to pack a punch now. Let's head back and I'll pack a punch to type 100. Still think he should have done more with that island over there. It's like he just plonked it there and forgot to uh, put any vegetation or detail on it. Check out the. Uh, I love that trap. I wonder if I should get uh, hmm, another weapon out of the box. No, I won't. I won't bother. I'll go with the type 100 for now. I don't think there's any um, special custom weapons in this map, other than what we've seen already. Uh, just waiting for that crawler because I'd really like to start the round here, and then um, w when we start getting overrun, use the teleporter. But I don't know. Let's let's see if the crawler is going to be obliging in uh, crawl into view for us to take him out sniper style with the browning he was pretty slow wasn't he so I don't know I don't know how far he's got on his little hands but uh, I wonder if there's any other like easter egg type things in this map I don't think there is Where is he? Come on, crawler. We might have to give up on him and uh, and just teleport and find him and to take him out. Yeah, he's probably still back at uh, the mainframe somewhere. Can't see him. Let's go. Um, yep, we'll pack a punch the uh, Type 100 and uh, get that thing happening. I think it's the 1001 Samurais, yep, and it's got the chrome camo as well. It's pretty sweet looking. I don't need to use the trap. <laughs> Alright, let's find that uh, goddamn crawler now. I'm just, uh, oh, my mouse, my mouse, um, needs recharging it's a wireless mouse I'm gonna have to plug it in to continue this just as well this didn't happen in the middle of uh, a round there we go well that's the end of part two guys uh, part three will follow shortly the final part in a tropical island hope you're enjoying please leave a comment for now it is Slippy Jim out